Good morning, everyone. Today is January 29th, uh, 8, 23 a.m. And today, uh, as for surprise, we are looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, of course, is the main thing that started everything with the whole cryptocurrency. Back in 2009, when it was made by Satoshi Nakamoto, fun fact, nobody knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. But um, this is the brief explanation that we're going to do. My glasses are fucked up. And let's get it started. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to pull up the market cap volume and circulating supply definitions just so everybody understands what those are. Personally, I, I don't use them, but, you know, it, it's good to know what the hell people are talking about, especially since this will be a prominent subject being talked about in the future and as we get older. That's to you, millennials. Um, Bitcoin's price, uh, 37K, just went up. Elon Musk tweeted or put it in his bio this morning. The current market cap is um, almost $7 billion. The current volume is 110, well, almost 111 billion. The circulating supply is 16, I mean, 18.6 million BTC. Um, Bitcoin is the first world's first cryptocurrency. It's it. Bitcoin is stored and exchanged securely on the internet through a digital ledger known as blockchain. Bitcoins are divisible into smaller units. Um, known as Satoshis. Each Satoshi is worth however however you pronounce this, Bitcoin. Um, what gives Bitcoin its price and they equivocate it to the digital gold um, is the fact that there's limited supply. So the supply and demand regulates its price. And of course, the less there are, the more valuable it is. This, that, and the third. Um, what also regulates Bitcoin's price um, is the fact that it has to be mined, and I believe there's probably other coins not off the straight off the top that I that I that have to be mined or worked for, or use electricity, processes a bunch of fucking algorithms, hash rate, and all that other shit. You're not a miner. You don't care about none of these or you might not be interested in any of these words as you are just an investor or somebody trying to make profit long term from Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency but brief explanation fun facts in this video that's how Bitcoin is not only pushed into the market with people with high GPUs or Bitcoin mining factories like there are in China and they're currently making one in Texas that are able to mine like the gold mine the bitcoin out through these algorithms and then pushing them off into society whether it be for retail investing or usable scenarios like buying pizza like this one dude did for 10k bitcoin back in like 2010 or some shit but Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and go to the website. Um, the basics for a new user, as a new user, which is you, um, you can get started with Bitcoin without understanding the technical details. Once you've installed a Bitcoin wallet on your computer or mobile phone and most of the software products that you will use and that's easier for investors to use, like how Robinhood used to be, fuck Robinhood, um, like Coinbase, Binance, different exchanges, you'll be able to have like your long uh, router equivalent password or name of your wallet to be able to exchange money from one person to another, one person to another. Um, it will generate your first Bitcoin address and you can create more whenever you need one. You can disclose your address to your friends so that they can pay you or vice versa. In this fact, it's pretty similar to how email works, except Bitcoin addresses should be used only once. Uh, balances. Um, the blockchain. The blockchain is a shared public ledger. For those who don't know what a ledger is, I'll go ahead and put it up right now because it's more, more or less used in accounting and shit like that. 
um, on which the entire Bitcoin network relies. A shared public net ledger that the Bitcoin network relies. Um, all confirmed transactions are included in the blockchain. It allows Bitcoin wallets to calculate their spendable balance so that new transactions can be verified, thereby ensuring there there are they are actually owned by the spender. The integrity and the chronological order of the blockchain are enforced with cryptography. <clears throat> Transactions, uh, a transaction is a transfer of value between Bitcoin wallets that get included in the blockchain. Bitcoin wallets keep a secret piece of data known as a private key or seed, which is used to sign transactions providing mathematical proof that they have come to from the owner of the wallet. The signature also prevents the transaction from being altered by anybody once it has been issued. All transactions are broadcast to the network, usually begin to be confirmed within 10 to 20 minutes through a process called mining, ergo. Uh, mining is a distributed consensus system that is used to confirm pending transactions by including the including them in a blockchain it enforces a chronological order in the blockchain protects the neutrality of the network and also uh, all allows i'm dumb and allows different computers to agree on the state of the system to be confirmed transactions must be packed in a block that fits very strict cryptographic rules that will be verified by the network these rules prevent previous blocks from being modified because doing uh, uh, yeah because doing so would invalidate all the subsequent blocks mining also creates the equivalent of a competitive lottery that prevents any individual from easily adding new blocks consecutively to the blockchain in this way no group or individuals can control what is included in the blockchain or replaces part of the blockchain to roll back their own spends. This is just a short summary of what Bitcoin is. If you want to learn more, fucking do your own research. Um, this is a brief explanation of Bitcoin. <clears throat> Seven minutes isn't bad. Um, personal thoughts: Bitcoin's number one. It, it's been up there. It's always going to have uh, intrinsic and extrinsic value. It has utility. There's there's a bunch of shit in that I could say to validate why Bitcoin is a good investment, especially for long term. They speculate it should equal one Bitcoin should equal 500K. But right now it's only at 37K. So even if you were to invest now compared to you could have invested literally a year ago, it would have been, you know, 9K. It dropped down because of Corona hit around March 18th or because of stock markets and shit. So you could have got it as low as 5,000 last year or at least got a good chunk of Satoshis to equal a, a nice value to wear it. When you equivocate it to the US dollar, money flipper, money flipper for lack of a better term. Um, coincidentally, I might have to go over Dogecoin. That's why you see it up here. Um, but that'll be in the next video. I appreciate you for listening to what Bitcoin is and some of the couple of fun facts. Um, that'll be it for, for sure today. That's it. That's BTC. Brief explanation. Under 10 minutes. Um, have a good day. Hey, everyone. This is Louis the Savant. Um... Uh, I'll also go by Rozzy Reviews or Rozzy the Zemi because I'm going to be using this outro on multiple channels. So if you would like to support me, um, I'll probably put Cash App links and all that other shit. But I've helped my mom create a candle business. So I'll put the link in the description below and probably add the, um, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, QR code. So you can just scan the screen and be able to see our website on your phone. So conveniency. Um, this is, this scent particularly is, uh, lemon and lavender, which honestly, it smells fucking amazing. Not, not, not saying that because, um, you know, my mom makes them, but like it literally, like it's, it's a, a delicate, not delicate, 
but like a delicacy, like a, a, a delicate scent or I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but it, it's called Sacred Flame um, up there, right there. Yes, sir. Uh, the next thing is my clothing brand. Um, as of 121, 21, 2021, um, I will still be trying to overhaul my site and create new products but still my clothing brand is zemi i will put that in the somewhere some, some okay here we go right here right here i'm gonna put that there and as well as put the qr code um and uh oh shit all right so i have this this product it, it's called mud water it's a coffee alternative um for those who are trying to get off that jitterness of coffee for me it like i bite my nails like horribly because i'll be on coffee and it be giving me anxiety but um i'll put the link of this in below just because i feel like it'll help benefit you guys um i've today's actually the third day that i've been using this and i haven't drank coffee at all maybe it's because you know i'm not getting all that amount of caffeine compared to what this like 6 grams that i use from this container uh, if you, if you really want to see what it is, it looked like dirt, but it ain't dirt. All right. But I've definitely been feeling the benefits, especially today. Everything's been seemingly and feeling great. Um, appreciate you for coming to the end of the video. But if you do would like to support me, definitely either buy a candle, buy one of my clothing items or hit the referral link below. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate you for even just watching the video, it definitely means a lot to me because it's a it's a lot going into making a video that you don't see behind the scenes and, and definitely time put in. But um, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Love you. Respect you. Peace.